of course I was honored. Um, you know, Armored Saint actually opened one of, they did four shows and we opened one of them, which was really, really cool that they allowed us to do that. And then of course it was the plan that I was gonna come out and do the song of, of what it would have been like if John Bush actually joined it, Metallica. And yep. um, it was cool to do that. It was, you know, it sounded great. It was fun. The crowd was very receptive. And, you know, as we told it, James and Lars told the story. Um, and now I'm living it again because it's like the 40th anniversary of Metallica these days. Yep. Um, and it's, you know, I, I kind of just shake my head and laugh because I've, I've just done a couple interviews recently, one in Metal Hammer over in Britain about, about me being back, you know, of, of me doing, um, you know, being asked. And yeah. you know, I was just laughing, going, I'll, I'll never live this down. You know, it's just, it's going to be with me for, for the rest of my life that you, I was, I was telling somebody, it's like, my kids are going to get shit for it. They're going to be like, your dad's an idiot. He didn't join Metallica, you know, but um, it just, yeah, again, it was not my destiny. It was, you know, it was meant to be James's voice on every Metallica record. And that was the, the way it was supposed to be. And, um, you know, again, honored to have been considered that, laugh that it's going to be forever part of my, my lore, but whatever. It's, you know, I mean, they're Metallica, they're the Kings. And um, it was great to do that night. And, uh, had so much fun being there and, um, it was, you know, it was a really special night because they were playing, they were playing different songs off every record, every night. And even Kirk, I think, had a music stand, which was, I thought, pretty funny and really cool. And um, it was great. Lou Reed was there, and Kid Rock, and Merciful Fate, and, you know, Marianne Faithful, and, and Ozzy another night, and Halford. And it was just, it was incredible. Jason, of course. And yeah, it was fun. I don't think it's a negative though. Like, like I, I understand like, you know, the context that you put it in, but I think it actually speaks to the, the respect that they had for you and your band, what you guys were doing that they approached you, but they also approached later, they approached Joey. So, I mean, it's like, they had a lot of respect for what you guys were doing. Yeah. The talent. I don't take it as a negative at all. No, I'm laughing about it all. It's just, I, I, sure. I of course I'm honored. I mean, they're Metallica. They are the Kings. It's, it's, you know, and to, to be associated with that in any capacity. And then Norman St. Tour Metallica on Ride the Lightning, March the Saint. We had this history. At one point, Lars's uh, wife at the time uh, and uh, and Tony DiCiaccio came back and managed uh, us on the Symbol Salvation. So we were on Q Prime at two different times. Still didn't like have the huge success. And we were with them twice, you know. Again, these are the things that, that I look back in, in history and I laugh at. Um, you know, it's, at that night, here's another funny story. You know, Cliff Bernstein, we had fall, you know, we had kind of, uh, we had had a lot, lapse of time communicating, but he was, of course, there that night. And when we played, we had a great show. I remember saying, tore it up as we were the support act. We were walking off the stage at the Fillmore, and then Cliff grabs us and goes, you guys were amazing. And he's like, I should have done more with you. I'm, you know, I should have done more. And we were like, at the time, we kind of said, yeah, whatever, man, we're here. You know, who cares? And then, then we went backstage and we're like, oh, my God, Cliff said that. And we're like, hey, tell us that now. Like, what? <laughs> but that's just, that's the Armored Saint career in a nutshell right there. It's just kind of funny. We're like, oh, my God, really? But, like, I, it, was, it, was, it was cool that he told us that because he was, yeah. he was telling us something of, like, you know, all these years later, he sees us and he's like, I should have done more. And, um, I'm, you know, he was kind of apologizing without actually maybe saying the words, I'm sorry, but it felt nice. It was, again, it, it felt, we felt rewarded. So what was, I mean, you mentioned it, what was that ride the lightning tour with, with Metallica and Wasp? What was that like? What are kind of the memories that stick with you from that run? Oh, that was great. It was a lot of fun. It was everybody's, really, well, I mean, it was our first tour. Well, our second tour, we went out with Choir Ride and Wise tour before that. And then, then we did that tour and it was still Wasp's first record. It was Metallica's second record. It was our first full length record. So everybody was new. Everybody was red hot. Um, everybody was in. People were very psyched about that. We did three nights at the Lamore uh, Theater in New York. I mean, it was a great tour to this day. It still lives in infamy. And um, it was awesome to be part of it. It really was. And uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of mischief, a lot of hijinks. Um, you know, it was cold January to March tour. And we got stuck in Buffalo, New York, because we were in a blizzard there. We had to stay in this like Hyatt Hotel or whatever it was. Uh, we couldn't leave. There was no food. It was, you know, we had, there's so many stories connected to it, but it was a lot of fun. And 
especially watching Metallica, because you know you could see that they were just exploding. And, but Wasp was great every night too. 